welcome to the book of Exodus. We're in chapter 36, today verses 5 to 7, and here they are. And they said to Moses, The people are bringing much more than enough for the construction work which the Lord commanded us to perform. So Moses issued a command and a and a proclamation was circulated throughout the camp, saying, Let no man or woman any longer perform work for the contributions of the sanctuary. Thus the people were restrained from bringing any more. For the material they had was sufficient and more than enough for all the work to perform it. Okay, here's something you won't hear too often, right? <laughs> but here it is in the Bible. Uh, wait a minute, you guys have given too much. Don't bring any more. We're, we've got more than enough. Just go ahead and stop. And you don't really hear that very often in a church. But uh, what they're building the sanctuary here, what do we have? The people gave, they gave, they gave, they gave, they kept giving. And uh, before long, they had to tell Moses, hey, we've got to get these people to stop. We don't have a place to put all this stuff. We, we, have, we have more than enough to accomplish the task. And so uh, the people just kept on bringing it. They just kept on giving it. And we can appreciate the spirit in their heart that led them to uh, be so giving. We want to have a spirit like that, that gives and gives and gives and wants to give. And so uh, this is what we see here. So when God leads the congregation, there will be enough to accomplish the immediate task, whatever that task is, the people will give enough. So we don't need to be afraid about that. We don't need to bring in a, a private fundraising group usually. Uh, what we need to do is uh, help the people be faithful and God will give the blessing. There will be enough. And you perhaps have heard the, uh, the saying, God loves a cheerful giver. Well, the truth is, God loves a stingy giver too. Uh, but he loves everybody. But what's, what God loves is he loves the spirit that's in the heart of one who gives unstintingly, who is glad to give, who gives, who just gives. It seems like those people always seem to have, somehow they have more. Uh, somehow every, the ends stretch, the ends meet, they, they, they have what they need, and they're joyful and glad to give. I want a spirit in my heart like that, and I'm sure you do too. So here's an interesting case. Actually, in the actual building of the sanctuary, the people gave more than enough. And so a signal to us today, uh, how forthright am I? How, how cheerful of a giver am I to the work of God? something to think on today.